This video will focus on the symptoms that arise with gallbladder stones related complications so that patients with gallstones, if they develop different symptoms, they may have a fair idea of what's going on. I have two cartoons, one of the inside of the abdomen and the other of a cartoon of a person. So let's look at the inside first. There's the liver that produces bile. The bile comes down with the bile tube. Attached to the side of the bile tube is the gallbladder. In this instance, I've drawn some stones over here. The gallbladder concentrates the bile and squirts it out into the main bile tube for it to travel down into the small bowel to meet with the, to meet with the food churned down by the stomach and, and sent in this direction. At the back of the stomach is the, is the gland called the pancreas. It produces enzymes that digest the food that come down this tube and meet with the food. So firstly, the great majority of the patients will live happily with their gallbladder stones and not have any symptoms whatsoever. The commonest symptoms are biliary colic. Typically, patients will get pain just below the rib cage, radiating through to the back and into the right shoulder. After a fatty meal, it tends to last from a few minutes up to two hours and vomiting may relieve it. In acute cholecystitis, a stone blocks the exit of the gallbladder. The gallbladder wall thickens and the gallbladder becomes quite inflamed. There may be bacteria causing infection within the gallbladder. The pain typically is in the same place, but it, this doesn't go away and tends to continue for many hours. The patient may also have a temperature and feel quite unwell. Typically, patients are prescribed antibiotics. Mucosal of the gallbladder is a related condition where a stone blocks the exit of the gallbladder and instead of bile, the gallbladder becomes quite big and elongated and is filled with mucoid clear fluid. At times there may not be much pain with this condition. So tight is the seal of the stone, but commonly pain is quite possible, much like gallbladder pain going through to the back after a fatty meal. Empyema of the gallbladder means that a stone blocking the exit of the gallbladder and the gallbladder gets infected and is full of pus. This is a dangerous condition and antibiotics alone would not solve it. Typically the patient gets pain where the gallbladder is but they are quite ill with a swinging temperature and sweatiness. They require hospital treatment. Perforation of the gallbladder is less common but it may happen where the gallbladder may perforate towards the liver causing a liver abscess or it may perforate into the abdominal cavity causing bile to escape. Depending on where the perforation happens, if it is towards the liver and there is a liver abscess, patient will have temperature and may not have much pain. And if there's a generalized perforation into the abdominal cavity, initially there may not be a lot of pain, but typically pain arises in the abdomen, which is made worse on movement is more generalized and patients feel quite unwell. Diabetics are prone to gangrene of the wall of the gallbladder where the blood supply is lost and the wall of the gallbladder turns black, making it weak and allowing the contents and bile to escape. This is a dangerous condition and requires urgent treatment. What about gallstones migrating? The gallstones may actually cause the wall of the gallbladder to give way and if there is an adjacent loop of bowel, they would slowly erode into the bowel and then cause symptoms further downstream such as small bowel obstruction. And typically in this case, patients will get pain around the belly button that comes on in waves accompanied by vomiting, sometimes distension of the abdomen and the bowels may not work. What if the gallstones migrate into the bile duct itself as over here they'll pass into this bile tube and travel downwards. The great majority of these stones will pass through without a problem however sometimes they can get impacted. In this instance the pain is slightly different. It is in the, sl it is in the same general area but it tends to be more central band-like and it goes to both sides. It may be associated with vomiting and patients may be jaundiced. That is a yellowish discoloration of the skin and the whites of the eye. If infection arises in bile because of the obstruction, then patients will have a high temperature. This is a very dangerous condition and requires urgent treatment. Acute pancreatitis secondary to gallstones may occur in a small number of patients. Here the gallstones escape into the bile tube and in their travel downwards, they incite the pancreas when they arrive at the bottom end of the bile tube causing acute pancreatitis. This is a hugely painful condition and typically patients will have pain high up in the abdomen but in the middle radiating typically through to the back or to the sides. This pain is usually so severe that the patients end up in the hospital. May be associated with vomiting, temperature, a high pulse rate and the patients may breathe heavily uh, because of the illness. This completes a list of complications of the gallstones and their associated symptoms. I hope you found this of use. If you have any comments please do share.